for coming out. Thank you for supporting these student shows. This is level two, comatose tadpoles. <laughs> Down there on the end is my TA, that's Tom. That's Seth. Don't feel free to chat. <laughs> that's a great guy. I don't know what you guys are holding anything against Seth. Debbie? <laughs> I feel that's my fault, not your fault. I don't want you to think any of these things. <laughs> uh, what we'll be doing tonight uh, for you is playing a lot of short form games, similar to what you might see on like Whose Line Is It Anyways. Uh, but this is going to be better because you know these people. I mean, you might know some people on Whose Line Is It Anyways. I don't know your life. You might be, you know, slummy. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but we'll be playing uh, those games. Uh, and to, let's start off with the first game for all of my students. It's called Foursquare. So if I can have everybody get into a four square formation. There you go, that's how it is. Uh, who still watches TV? Woo! <laughs> it's very dark. You could be raising your hand, you could be flipping me off, I have no idea. So, <laughs> who still watches television? <laughs> four square is going to work very similar to when you're uh, surfing channels on the television. You'll be watching the scene. We'll go away from the scene by me saying shift left. Yep, the left is right. <laughs> left is right, the right hand. Or shift right. And then when you come back to that scene, it's the same people, but they've moved on, just like the television does. Uh, and to get us started, uh, for Seth and Adam, let's have a dangerous uh, uh, occupation. Rock climbing. Uh, rock climbing. It's a dangerous occupation. You guys are rock climbers. You climb rocks. Shift right. All right. Uh, for Jennifer and Adam, let's have a place that you would love to send an enemy. Right. I'm gonna go with France because my other options are Afghanistan and hell. <laughs> so we're going with France. Shift right. All right, for uh, Debbie and Jennifer, we are. Uh, what's a strong emotion like anger, hate, or jealousy? But not the. They're not hunger, guys. Hunger's not an emotion. An infatuation. Infatuation. You're infatuated. Infatuation. Shift right. And finally, for these two, uh, let's have. Uh, an occupation that doesn't exist anymore, like Tom, a town crier or blockbuster. <laughs> what was that? Toys R Us manager. Toys R Us manager. <laughs> I really thought I sidestepped it with blockbuster, but Toys R Us managers. Okay? So let's review. Shift right. Rock climbing. Shift right. France. <laughs> Shift <We> right. <laughs> Infatuation. Shift right. <laughs> Toys are us. Shift right. Shift right. Shift right. Shift left. The scene starts in three, two, one. Hey Max, I've got this list here of all the places I want to see in France. The Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I'm just trying to fit in. <laughs> Well, then you should, hold on, I got it here. Here's the hat. <laughs> there you go. We? Oui. Oui. <laughs> oh, we. Oui. Here's the palette. <laughs> Here's the paintbrush. <laughs> comes here is either an old man or another old man. We need we need to get it back rolling. I feel like in the future it won't work out for us. We need to get rolling again. Okay, I, I am older and I am a man. <laughs> but that left. Still left. <laughs> Cassandra. <laughs> oh, I never noticed. <laughs> You think we can make it to the top? I think we can. Hold on. <laughs> I, can't, I can't pull myself up anymore. 
Okay. Oh. That's still on the ground. <laughs> okay, now that we've got- This is what I think of your damn painting! Oh. You're the one who painted it. <laughs> Maybe we need a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have an HR department anymore? Uh, we, uh, due to budget cuts, we lost that seven years ago. Okay, because obviously I'm a man. I'm old, hence the cane. <laughs> I, I don't know why you would say rude things to me. Is it because your job's over? <laughs> you know, I know a nice place for you out back. <laughs> Have you seen this new iPhone XS? <sighs> I don't care about that, Kelly. <laughs> no, it's... It's... It is lovely, as you are. <laughs> Okay, now that we have the street painting out of the way, I think we need to go somewhere a little calmer at the loo. I need, I need to apologize. I do need to go to the loo. Can you give me a two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I just wanted us to spend some time together. I know, I know. I just, I don't, I don't have the upper body strength to pull myself up all the way, but, you know, maybe if you gave me a boost? Yes. <clears throat> of course. Get, get up there. Get up there. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Help. I, uh, Why don't we try you? Yes. Go. Go. Yeah. Go. Yes. I, I touched the rock. <laughs> we always in that game when someone starts touching other people's rocks. <laughs> Our next game is going to be called The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. It's for Seth and Jennifer and Adam. Uh, this game is basically, it's like any of those, uh, you know, expert panel shows that are on during the middle of the day, like Doctors, or Doctors, or <laughs> any show like Doctors, uh, where the audience gets to ask questions, and our uh, experts will answer those questions. So, uh, what is a job that you have to study and uh, put a lot of time into becoming good at? Mechanic. Mechanic. We'll do mechanic. Well, we haven't done mechanic. Mechanic. So, uh, what's and the way this game's going to work is one expert's going to give good advice, one expert's going to give bad advice, and one expert's going to give ugly, crazy, <laughs> batshit advice. Uh, but uh, so, who would give like a, a good uh, mechanic advice? Who? What? A mechanic. A, a natural <laughs> <laughs> engineer, mechanic, uh, teacher, anything like that. Engineer, mechanic, teacher. Who would give bad mechanic advice? My dad. <laughs> a father. A father. Who would give crazy mechanic advice? A doctor. Auto zone employee. What's that? Auto zone employee. <laughs> a doctor? Is it? Dr. Roo. Dr. Dr. Haas, Dr. Roo. Dr. Roo. Uh, whatever you guys don't have to you guys don't have to be those. Just use those as advice or inspiration. And our show will start in three, two, one. Uh oh, welcome back to uh, Lug Nuts and What Nuts. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Mikey B. Uh, uh, today, again, on Lug Nuts and What Nuts, uh, we have a, a panel of experts to answer all your mechanical vice questions. Uh, expert number one, what's your name? Why are you an expert? My name is Dodge Mustang, and I have worked on cars since I was a baby. Dodge Mustang, mechanical savant. He's been working on it since he was a baby. Couldn't even hold a wrench in his hands. He's adorable and good in mechanics. Expert number two, what's your name? What makes you a mechanic and expert? <clears throat> my name is Father O. Mustang, and um, God is my boss, so that pretty much makes me an expert. <laughs> she gets all her advice from an unfallible source. So anything she tries is good and holy. Expert number three, what's your name? What makes you an expert about mechanical stuffs? I'm Dr. Ruth, and I know how things work for love and mechanics. It's quite simple, actually. She knows how all the pistons go up and down and lubrications. We got it. It's nice. All right. First question, who has a question about mechanical stuff here in the audience, huh? How do you get your nut off? <laughs> Larry's in the audience every week. He's always asking how to get his nuts off.
nuts off, but let's pretend it's a lug nut. I tell you, we've all been stuck on the side of the highway trying to change a tire. You can't break that lug nut. You can't get your nuts off. What's your advice, eh? First off, get a good tire iron. You need that tire iron. If you don't, you can't do it. You need it. And someone who actually knows mechanical how to take off a tire. You need equipment. You need knowledge. It helps if you're a baby who knew how to do it from the crib. <laughs> Father, can't get his nuts off. How you help him out? Well, now let me see what the good book has to say about it. Ah, yes, those who uh, are weary can uh, soar with wings of an eagle. Mm -hmm. Re <laughs> refer to the owner's manual. <laughs> Not in your glove box. <laughs> Where you get, Dr. Ruth? This guy can't get his nuts off. Well, the, the best way to get your nuts off is to you know, screw, if you will. You take, this, you, take, you take this instrument and, you know, you, you stick it into some certain places and just twist ever so gently. Blow slightly if you need to. Don't forget to massage the area around it. So, all right, another question from the audience. It's something about mechanical Best things. Best way to change oil. Best way to change oil. That's a great question. We always get, what's the worst way to change oil? I don't know why people ask that question. Best way to change oil. What's the best way to change oil? It's quite simple. You go under it. You slide under. <laughs> then you lift it up the car. Then you take out the oil. And then you get all of the floor. And then you bathe in it. And then you put in new oil. Simple. It helps if you're a little baby, you can crawl right underneath the car and get the baby oil and it's just a changing of a diaper. Poo poo, oil out, clean oil in, thank you so much. Father expert number two, uh, how do you, what's the best way to change your oils? Well, let me check in the good book here. Ah uh, yes, thou anointest my head with oil and preparest a table before my enemies. <laughs> Anointy, nointy, pointy, pointy. Go back to the point, uh, owner's manual. It has all the right answers in there. Also, you Amen. sprinkle it this way, getting it back on the car. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, what's the best way to change oils? Well, if you and your partner are very comfortable with one another, it's, there's no reason to not exchange your oil on top of each other. <laughs> As the first one said, you stand beneath them while they are above you and let it drain out. It's, it's, there's, there's no need to react this way. It's very normal. Even, even famous people do it. I hear that there's a videotape. Yes. Treat your car like your lover. And all good lovers need good lubrication. All right. Now, we like to end all the uh, uh, shows here, uh, uh, Lug Nuts and What Nuts, uh, the same way with one of the big questions like uh, uh, what is love or uh, ha what is happiness. Anybody have a question about just life that's been bugging them? They need to they need sort it out. When does life start? When does life start? Touchy subjects. <laughs> but I think it's safe using cars as metaphors. <laughs> What you got there? Yeah, when does life start? <laughs> that one moment, God put the key in ignition, and he turned. It was beautiful. Seems to be seated. Insertion! <laughs> life starts with insertion right here. What do you got? What do you got? Well, I know the good book has an answer for that one, too. Where does it uh, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Chapter one! Life starts in chapter one. It's right there in the beginning. You, just, you go to the front of the manual. Amen. Dr. Ruth, when does life start? Well, not, not to disagree with the first, with the first expert, but uh, life does not begin at insertion of a key. Certain vehicles have a uh, ignition button that if you find it and are able to just get it in the right spot, <laughs> things can get started for you. It's, it's quite simple. Dr. Ruth always trying to spread the myth of the ignition button. <laughs> Jeez Louise, that's great. That's the luck, that's the what
Nice. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> All right, the next game we're going to be playing is called Genre the Deputy Director. It's going to be a game for Debbie, Jennifer, and Adam. Uh, at this game, they're going to be doing like the pivotal scene of a movie, like the big Oscar-worthy scene. But then I'm going to come in and wreck it with different genres. So uh, to get us started, what's a genre movie, like film noir or something like that? Buddy but not that. What's it? Buddy cop. Buddy cop movie. I love it. Buddy cop movie. All right. From over here, what's a, a genre of book? Like a... a, a Bodice Ripper. What? Bodice Ripper. Bodice Ripper. Okay. I heard, I heard Goddess Ripper. <laughs> but Bodice Ripper, you know, like uh, the uh, romance novels. Oh, okay. uh, trashy romance novels with their bodice is always ripped. Bodice is a. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you got your, uh, your lovely degletage is exposed on the cover of the thing. Uh, and then I, I can't get rid of that voice. I can't get rid of the mechanic voice. <laughs> Finally, over here, uh, what's a genre of like uh, 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 performance art, like miming or miming? <laughs> <laughs> I use like miming Musical. to take it off. Yeah. What's that? Musical. 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 Yeah. Musical. Musical. Yeah. Musical. Yeah. Musical. Yeah. So it's just musicals. <laughs> Singing, musical, interpretive dance, <clears throat> do all that. And finally, we need a title of this film. So if someone can reach into the phone, read out the last text message you feel comfortable us hearing. Uh, that will be the title of our film. Right Anybody? here, baby. Oh, no. Right here, baby. <laughs> right here, baby. So the first scene you're going to see is the neutral scene of right here, baby. Just the super dramatic right here, baby scene. So it starts in three, two, one. Right here, baby. Come on. Come on over here. I'm right here. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know, we got to have the surprise party figured out for her, and I really feel kind of mean excluding her right now. Yeah, me too. But I don't know how we can do the surprise Why party. Bother. Uh, <laughs> because she's our friend. Hey, guys, what are you hey. doing? What are you doing? We're um, planning uh, uh, the um, scientific fair for the sixth graders in Melvin's class. We're going to make the volcano explode. Okay, I you wouldn't like be interested. One of you's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin, you tell her all about the science fair. Uh, with all those little you know, childrens running around with their with their sticky fingers and all the You mean my children? Antacids. Uh, <laughs> and like the exploding lava? Yes, exploding lava. Just goes everywhere. <clears throat> Shake it up. Mentos? Go everywhere. Mentos? Hey. Yeah. Hey guys. Hmm? Hey. I'm right here. <laughs> cut, cut, cut! No! It's not good. Like, everything you say makes my heart hurt and my brain cry. <laughs> the studio has said they don't, they, they think this needs a, a more action. What they decided is now is a body cop film. You, you're Sergeant McClintock. You are her old partner, a Sergeant Bearwell. You are the new partner coming in, because guess what, you guys are planning a retirement party. Also, it's action, so feel free to yell so people can hear you. <laughs> That'd be great. They find that it's easier for movies when people hear them talking. <laughs> right here, buddy cop version, action. Hey, buddy, over here, over here. Come on. Hold on. No, not old buddy, yeah. new buddy. Uh, OK. Yeah. And I'm the sergeant, so I'm going to put him in charge of that. Sorry, come on. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. We're uh, just trying to figure out what those sixth graders are going to be doing at that science fair. You know they caused so much trouble last year. Kind of out of breath. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it was the lava explosion. Do you need some help, sir? <laughs> are you lost? <laughs> okay, Do just because he's history? old doesn't mean he can't hear. Do you understand I was his partner before? But I'm his partner now. Buddy, you'll always be my buddy. You'll be my buddy. <laughs> okay, we gotta get those lava explosions down to a minimum. Okay, I need you to get some soda there. Make sure the guys what? Are soda <laughs> like, yeah. what? We're up. talking about the science for you know you hate those little sixth graders, so I'm not gonna make you go this year. I'm taking this off you, buddy, and I'm putting the new buddy on it. Yeah. Okay? New buddy. New buddy's gonna take care of the science fair. We got the lava explosions under control with mentos and soda. 
And then, um... Shuffle on with your bad self. <laughs> I uh, am. Buddy, you're gonna have to... No, it's for... It's for the... No. I can't on. hear you! <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> cut, 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 cut! Much better. Okay. It's so good. I, I, I would love for that to be the film. But it won't be! The studio said that it's an oversaturated market with buddy cop films. Especially buddy cop films with no guns, but just volcanoes and mentos. <laughs> Everybody's scared of it. What we've decided is we need something with more passion, huh? Something with more passion, so we still work in this love triangle. But you, you're a pirate. You, you're a pirate. You. Or a damsel who's also a pirate. <laughs> you're just fighting for each other, just ripping bodices open left and right. Degotage, breast assist. <laughs> Bodice ripping version, action! Arr, hey, baby! <laughs> yes, over here. Hey. Okay, we gotta find some new people to rip bodices. Just like. Well, I don't want my buddy here to feel bad because I'm. Oh, yeah. you got is that a parrot no, or are you happy you to see it. me? <laughs> So you're going to be an old man again, but also a pirate, also you're singing. 